Now battling blight, vacant, abandoned, boarded up houses. They're not just eyesores. They pose safety risks, health hazards and decrease surrounding property values. It's a perpetual problem for cities and towns that doesn't appear to have a clear cut solution. So tonight we're taking a look at what two of the biggest cities in our area are doing to combat this conundrum. Eyewitness News anchor Shannon Heggie is here with a preview you'll see only on Eyewitness News. The city of New Bedford has partnered up with Whale, the Waterfront Historical Area League, to restore historic homes for low and moderate income home buyers. Now, one of the homes they're working on right now is 318 Pleasant Street. Built in the mid 19th century, the property has been severely neglected in recent years. Just a few streets away on Allen Street, Wales' first finished project just purchased by the Walker family. We never imagined we could afford to buy a house, like in a million years. She worked tirelessly to get my budget where it needed to be, taught me how to save. In Providence, there are currently four times more vacant and neglected properties than New Bedford. Tonight, we examine how Mayor Jorge Alorza's Every Home Initiative and promise to rid the city of all its vacant properties is holding up two and a half years after its launch. That's all starting tonight on Eyewitness News Live at 5. I'm Shannon Heggie, Eyewitness News.